I am pleased you're restoring our palace to its original splendor. Trust me, you're in good hands. Now, if you don't mind, I think I'll go in and get a feel for the place. To pass the course, you really need to up the wow factor on a midterm. And when it comes to your midterm, which will be a super fab runway event showcasing everyone's most fashionable design, I only give out one A. <gasps> hmm? Oh, I just love a good competition. As in, we'll just. Who achieves fashion greatness and who's a fashion disaster? <laughs> Later, loser! <laughs> That's it! There's no way I'm gonna let the out design me! It's game on! Don't worry, all you have to do is come up with a great look for the midterm runway and you'll totally ace the semester. Yeah! Mm. And put Mandy in her place. <gasps> hey, check it out! That's weird. You know, since there aren't any windows open in the room... That's because this is an ordinary fabric, it's whoop fabric. Which means it's time to get our spy on! <laughs> Hello, ladies. So lovely to see you again. Jerry! This is so not cool. We have fashion design midterms coming up, and I need to get an A. Well, I'd be happy to help you, Clover. After all, you may have noticed that I'm quite the fashion bug. Ugh, yeah? Maybe in the 70s. Now stop joking, Jerry. This is serious. <clears throat> Very well, then. The sooner you get going on your mission, the sooner you can get back to your schoolwork. So what is our mission, Jer? It turns out that several of the world's most prominent interior designers have vanished without a trace. And it's up to you three to get to the bottom of it. Without a trace, huh? That's not much to go on. That's why I've summoned you girls. After all, you're the best. <laughs> This is one time when I wish we were the second best. And now for your gadgets. Today we have, from the Whoop Chameleon line, the amazing Chameleon Tongue, and some Blend Away Background Spray. Neat! 
Glad you approve. We also have the Whoop Fiber Analyzing Lint Brush, the Parasol Brick Wall, the Slice Through Anything Diamond Cowgirl Boot Spurs, and last but not least, the IPPV, or Insanely Powerful Portable Vacuum, helpful in cleaning up messes both large and small. Thanks, Jerry. You're quite welcome. Now, goodbye, spies, and good luck. This is so boss. I mean, who even knew Whoop had non-humans on staff? I think I'm gonna call him Z. We're getting close to the Taj Mahal. According to Ingrid Yardstick's office, one of the designers that disappeared. That's where she was last seen. <gasps> Huh. Do you think Zeke ran out of gas? I don't think so, Alex. Looks like this is our stop. Awesome! Oh. Bye, Zeke. Thanks for the ride. <laughs> Bye. Guess I won't be using any of my outfit in my mentored design after all. Time to spread out and look for clues. I don't know, Sammy. This place is huge. Trying to find a missing designer here will be like trying to find a hair on Jerry's head. Maybe not. I mean, hello. If these don't scream missing designer, I don't know what does. What's so special about a random pair of glasses? They aren't random. They're incredibly stylish designer specs. Whoa, you're right. The glasses Ingrid's wearing in the photo Jer showed us match these exactly. Yes. Come on, girls. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, great. Now what? Mm -hmm. Guess we'll just have to bust out our amazing chameleon tongues. <laughs> kind of cool, yet kind of freaky. Taj Mahal would be a little less tacky and a little more classy. Which means someone must have redesigned it. You mean someone like our missing designer? I'm not sure. But one thing's for certain. She was definitely here. Her initials are on this measuring tape. Hey! What is Now push off against the wall so we can swing back toward the window. Uh. 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 Oh. Uh. Uh. Nicely done, uh. spies. Now all we gotta do is find a way back down to Earth. Uh. 
Zeke, you're back! Now that's what I call Elephantastic. <laughs> All right, girls. Time to give Jerry the 411 on what's happening. Ingrid's glasses and measuring tape. Most peculiar indeed. Oh, dear. It seems several more famous interior designers have just gone missing. Uh-oh. We better go find them. This is getting out of hand. I agree. <laughs> but first, I need to use this fancy lip brush to get these nasty carpet fibers off my spy uni. <laughs> oh, my. The fibers are made from the cells of the carnivorous Dionea muscopula plant, commonly known as the Venus flytrap. The only known source is from a flooring warehouse on the eastern seaboard of the United States. Whoa! Where to find the clue, Clover? Uh... My pleasure, but how does knowing where the flytrappy carpet fibers originated from help us? Because if we find the source, we might find our villain. Right, Jer? It's definitely a possibility. In fact, it appears that someone just bought a ton of this exact carpeting, and it's currently being delivered to its destination as we speak. Really? Delivered how? By semi-truck. If you hang on, I can have us hovering over the vehicle in mere moments. <laughs> this is it, girls. Happy landing! a mind-blowing extravaganza of prancing fabric on that runway. Oh, uh, hi! Yeah! It's uh, going great, Professor Plunkett. Can you hear the sewing machine? I've been working all afternoon. Oh! 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 I'm pleased to hear that. After all, when it comes to fashion, <laughs> no pain, no gain. Yep, I'm definitely feeling the pain. Thanks for the call. See you soon. <laughs> what now? It's a text from hell. One guess. spray should do the trick. Yeah, but it kind of begs the question. 
Why is the president letting 2,000 yards of tacky seafoam blue made with killer plants carpeting get delivered here? Isn't that like an impeachable offense? I sure hope the kitchen staff keeps some peanuts on hand. I've got a real craving tonight. I want to get the shade historically correct. Don't you worry about that one bit. Your interior decorating services are no longer needed here. <laughs> Whoever ordered that carpeting must be here to receive it. The only question is where. Guys, hold on. Are you hearing what I'm hearing? Uh, Sounds like struggling noises to me. Either that or those peanuts aren't agreeing with the president. Let's go! Like it or not, I'm the new interior designer on this project. Now, to give this place the presidential makeover it deserves. Ah! Oh no! It happened again! No need to thank me. My work is its own reward. Finally, this building has a cutting-edge style that will be the envy of the world over. And who exactly are you, besides a lady who apparently doesn't own a mirror? Oh, I'm Maggie Trendset. You haven't heard of me? Uh, no. I'm formerly the most underappreciated interior designer in the world. But now, my notoriety is going global. So how did you even get in here? And the Taj Mahal, for that matter. That was easy. All I had to do was hide within my oh-so-special carpeting. Oh, it's special, all right. But I'm not sure what you're hoping to achieve by barging into places like this and completely trashing them. I'd grown tired of being rejected for design jobs. So I've decided to force my work on those who rejected me. First, the Taj Mahal and the White House. Now, the world! Let's give Maggie a Major League makeover, spies! Yeah. Let me know how that works out for you. <laughs> designer anymore. She's graduated to exteriors. <gasps> this is nuts! We better send Jerry an alert right away. Look! It's Maggie! <laughs> Let's get her, Spies! Don't 
you just love what I've done with the place? As if the only space you should be allowed to decorate is the inside of a jail cell. Not gonna happen. on Maggie. My designs are edgy and dangerous, girls. I tried to warn you. The president has now evacuated the White House. Mr. President, I can do wonders for your limo. Let me show you. Excellent work, Spies. We'll take Maggie to the containment facility where she clearly belongs. And what about the other missing designers like Ingrid Yardstick? You'll be happy to hear that Whoop has found and freed them. Huh? Another job well done, Jerry. Thank you, Mr. President. Happy to be of service. And thank you, too, girls. Have a nice day. <laughs> He did indeed. Of course, exciting as it is, this isn't information you'll be allowed to share with your schoolmates. Oh, no! With all the spying we've been doing today, I haven't had a chance to work on my assignment. I'm so gonna flunk out of fashion design class. Don't worry, Clover. You'll think of something. Yeah, and I'm sure whatever it is, it will be great. <laughs> Oh, how into 
interesting. <laughs> yes, very chic. Now that's how you rock a sombrero, sister. Okay, people, make way for the catwalk to win. <laughs> If I was the fashion police, I would write you a ticket for being fabulous! All right, Clover. This is it. Now, work it like you mean it. God! In all my years, that is truly the most audacious thing I've ever seen! And I love it! A, A, A! Yes!